Hey everyone, hope you're good. I'm Timo, and we're on Counter-Strike Global Offensive for Volume 40 of the trade-up videos. We've got four trade-ups to do today, so let's get going. First up, we're going to do an industrial to mill spec one from the cash collection. For this one, we're going to use three low float field tested skins from cash, which is the Bison Chemical Green just there, a 5.7 Hotshot and a P250 Contamination. So there's those. They're all really, really low float field tested skins for the cash ones. And then for the other seven, we're going to use seven factory new skins from the train collection which is all of those P250s there. There you go. I'll throw it on the screen for you guys so you can see what our outcomes are here. So you'll see we get favourable odds for cash here as it's got five outcomes at mill spec and all of the outcomes here will be in factory new. This one cost me £1.66, that's €1.89 or $2.04. In terms of the outcomes, we lose around a pound if we get a train skin, but every cash outcome is a profit, but there's quite a big range. The Tech 9 is a tiny profit, the shotgun is a little better, but what we'd really like to get is one of the other three, because the MP9 makes over a pound, the Mac 10 is nicely over double your money, and the Glock is more than four times the money, so that's the real win here. So, can we get lucky and actually hit the Glock with this first one? I'd be quite happy just to get one of the cash skins, honestly, because they all look pretty cool, but the Glock is definitely the best one to hit. So, let's see how we do with this first one today. Uh, cool, it's a cash skin, but it's one of the worst ones to get. It's the shotgun, but it's still a small profit. That's pretty cool. So at least that one worked out in our favour. Let's have a little look at that. The bow machine. Pretty cool skin. All the little schools on it. And nice colours as well. Fairly old collection now, I think. And 0 0.039 float, so quite a nice float as well. So there we go, that's a good one for the first one. Tiny little profit there on the cash trade up. So moving on from that one, onto our second one today. And um, we're going to do a mill spec to restricted trade up from the Vanguard collection. For this one, we're going to use all 10 skins from the Vanguard collection. Seven are in factory new, two in minimal wear, and then one in field tested. So the factory new ones are all these murkies here. We've got seven of those and then we've got two of the same thing the murkies in minimal wear and then we have one where is it there ump delusion there we go so there we go that's all of the ones for that so they're all vanguard skins and what we're after here is the m4 a4 griffin in factory new condition with the floats we have it just gets the griffin into factory new so the cost for this one was three pounds and two pence, so that's three euros forty-three or three dollars seventy-one. The factory new murkies have gone up a little bit for a price on the market, but the buy order price is still about where it was when I got these. So it's not too bad if you still want to get them. You're just best to put in buy order prices. For the outcomes, there's just one we want, and that is the Griffin, as that's more than double your money. But the M4A1S Basilisk isn't a bad loss, at least. The Glock is a fail, but the Sword Off is the absolute worst thing we could get here because that will come out in minimal wear and not factory new so that's a hundred percent the worst outcome so the only profit here is the griffin a 25 percent chance can we hit it or is it going to be a fail one come on hey cool we actually hit the griffin nice that's awesome where is it there it is and yeah 0 0.066 so that is factory new and that is a pretty nice hit, because um, the Vanguard cases, I believe, are discontinued now. Like, you can't get them dropped at all anymore. So these are on, a, again, limited kind of supply with the skins. You know, once they're gone, they're gone kind of thing. So that's a pretty nice hit for the Griffin, and a pretty cool skin. I remember when everyone thought this was going to go contraband a few years ago, and it never actually happened, and loads of people spent a lot of money getting these, and <laughs> then it all fell down again. So yeah, I don't know if you remember that, if you were around at the point, but yeah, it was when the Howl went contraband, there was some other stuff the same guy did, and I think the Griffin was something to do with it, but it just never happened. So anyway, that's the second one for today, and we actually managed to hit that one, so that's a good second one for, th for this. Um, and for the third one today, we're going to try a restricted to classified one, and it's going to be from the Shattered Web collection. With the Shattered Web case having been discontinued when the operation ends, apparently it's not dropping anymore now, I thought we'd give this one a little go. So for this one all 10 skins that we're going to use are going to be from the Shattered Web collection and we've got two in field tested which are these MP7 neon plies that's those two and then all the others that we've got are all in well worn so we've got some P2000s and Bisons which 
chuck all those in there. There we go. So yeah, two field tested skins, the rest of them are all well worn, the other eight. So from the picture you can see here that all of our outcomes will be field tested, even though we're only using two field tested skins as inputs. What we'd like to hit here is the SG553 Colony 4. We just scraped a good enough float for field tested on one of those, and I do mean just. It'd be 0 0.3799, which is just so close to well worn, but this is like the cheapest way I could come up with of doing the trade up. So for the cost for this one, it's £3.48, which is €3.95 or $4.27. The Scout is the worst outcome here, that loses about 80p. The Tech 9 loses about 40p, but the SG makes more than £2 profit, so we're really hoping to hit that one. That would be a nice one to hold on to for a bit, potentially as well, if the case is no longer dropping, as this collection may see a bit of a rise as the case has already started to go up. So let's see what we get here, 33% chance, can we hit the colony? Ah, Tech 9 Decimator. <laughs> well, there we go. That one is a little bit of a fail. It's not the worst outcome. That's the second worst outcome, and it's only a small little loss. And it's quite a cool skin, the Decimator. It's same with the M4. They do look really nice. So, yeah, that's not too bad of a Tech 9, but unfortunately isn't a profit for the trade-up today. So, on from that one to number four and the final one today, and it's going to be a Millspec to Restricted one, and it's a Revolver Case Collection trade-up. For this one, we're going to use six revolver skins. We're going to have five of them in factory new and one in minimal wear. So we've got some SCAR-20 outbreaks, which are all factory new, a P2000 Imperial in factory new, and a Sword-Off Yorick in minimal wear. That's the six revolver skins we're using. And then the other four we're going to use are from the Shadow collection. We've got one in factory new, which is that Mac 10 and then the others are these Scumbrias, and they're all in minimal wear. So I'll put it on the screen for you guys again. The shadow skins help to keep the cost down and they still provide us with a profitable outcome as well. So you can see from here there's 10 potential things that we can get from this trade up. This one costs the same as the last one did. It's £3.48, so €3.95 or $4.27. For the revolver outcomes, we break even if we get the 5.7. We get near to double up for the Negev, and then we get triple our money on the SG Tiger Moth. We also profit on the Galil Stone Cold from the Shadow Collection as well. The other outcomes would be a loss, but not a big one in most cases. I think losing half the money is as bad as it can possibly get here. But hopefully we can hit one of the profit skins with this. So let's see how we do on this last one today. Can we trade up and hit that SG Tiger Moth? Come on! Ah, P250 wing shot. <laughs> that is not a Tiger Moth and not what we wanted. It's one of the fail skins, but fortunately it's not an awful fail. I don't think it's one of the absolute worst ones you can get. So yeah, that is in factory new. It's a really nice P250, the wing shot, really nice, but yeah, just not quite worth as much as we paid to do the trade up. So unfortunately, no SG Tiger Moth in factory new today. But still, the wing shot's a nice P250 to end on, I suppose. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. A couple of decent ones for the first ones, and the second one's not so successful, but at least they weren't big losses for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let me know your thoughts on the Shattered Web case and the Shattered Web collection in the comments. And subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos. You can donate Steam items with my trade link in the description below, and you can join our Discord with the link for that there too. Take care everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!